Number 27. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentrations of the ions in a saturated solution of each of the following, and then see appendix J for those solubility products. So in this case, we have to find out the concentration of the ions in the mineral brucite, which is magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2. So I did go in the back of the textbook to find out what the um, KSP value is for magnesium hydroxide. And it's 8.3 times 10 to the negative 12th. So they told us that it was a saturated solution, which means that there's no other common ion that is affecting the solubility of this compound, right? And if we're talking about solubility, we know that this ionic compound is going to start off as a solid and dissolve, undergo dissolution, and break up into its ions. So we have to write the balanced equation for that. So we have magnesium hydroxide, and that's a solid, and this will break up, right? Uh, double arrow, KSP, equilibrium, right? With its two ions. Hydroxide always stays together, that's a polyatomic, so the break is between the magnesium and the hydroxide. So Mg plus OH minus. Now, I just kind of gave you one of the charges. That's how, you know, that's how much it is ingrained in me that anytime that I see an OH for an ionic compound, hydroxide is always a negative one. So there you go for that. Magnesium, group two on the periodic table, all group twos are plus twos. Let's balance. I see that I had two hydroxides, so I did have to put a two in front of here, but one magnesium's for both sides. And now we have charges, so they're aqueous. Okay. Now let's just write out the general KSP equation. Remember, the general KSP equation is this right here. It's just equal to the concentration of the products raised to their coefficients. No reactants because no solids allowed. So KSP will equal the concentration of the magnesium, that's a 2 plus, times by the concentration of the hydroxide. Raise them to their coefficients. There was no coefficient in front of the magnesium. That means that there was one of them. And there's a two for the hydroxide. So for the OH, I do have to square that value. You can say that you could raise the magnesium to the first, but that's just, you know, not writing it at all. KSP value was from the back of the book, 8.9 times 10 to the negative 12th. But I don't know what these concentrations are. So I'm just going to use my ratios and plug in a variable. So for the magnesium, I don't know what it would be at equilibrium, so I'm just going to label it as x. All the time, though, just drag this coefficient down. So technically, this would be 1 times x, but 1 times x is just x. But for the hydroxide, if I label it also as x, I just have to make that ratio by dropping down the 2. So it's a 1 to 2 uh, ratio. You should have twice as much hydroxide as you do magnesium. And those are the numbers that go in here. So x and 2x. Now, let's just plug in and solve. 8.9 times 10 to the negative 12th equals, we have x times 2x squared. Let's work with this first. 2x times 2x is 2x squared. The squaring just tells you how many you have multiplied by each other. So 2 times 2 is 4. x times x, you have 2x's that you picked up. So I can just say that this 2x squared is the same as 4x squared. And now you picked up another x value, so you have a total of 3. So 8.9 times 10 to the negative 12th is 4x cubed. Let's solve for x. We should be dividing by 4 first. That kind of gets rid of this. And then let's see, 8.9 times 10 to the negative 12 divided by 4. I get 2.225 times 10 to the negative 12th. And that equals x cubed. 
So all you got to do is do the cube root on both sides. Me personally, I don't like using the cube root. I like to just raise it to the inverse value. So three would be three over one. So you raise it to the one third, the inverse of that number. And whatever you do on that side, you just do to the other side. So this would cancel. And now you're just left with x equals, raise that to the one third, and I get 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that's molarity. Now they just want the concentration of the ions. So that's when you just have to go back and see what we labeled as each ion. For magnesium, it was just x, right? So x was 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth. So that's what this concentration is, 10 to the negative fourth molarity. But then for the hydroxide, we label it as 2x. So I have to plug in the 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth and just multiply it by 2. So when I do that, I get 2.6. 2.6 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's molarity. And those are your two answers. Whoop, whoop. So there's that one. There's this one. And now we are officially done. Okay. What'd you guys think? Little math, not bad. The hardest part is just setting up the equation. But once you have those numbers in there and doing your algebra, we're clear sailing. All right. So I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.